Hi there. So I've made a couple review videos about the 600X previously, but this one right here is the super duper review. Let's start with some story time. My love for mountain biking all started when I was 14 years old. I had saved up all my hard earned lawn mowing money and bought a beautiful sparkly purple Trek 8000. It was definitely the most exciting purchase of my life up until that point. I practically slept with that thing in my bed the first week I got it. I rode that baby all over the trails here in Boulder and fell in love with exploring and being out on my own. I didn't know it then, but the freedom I experienced on that bike set me up for a lifetime of adventures. Between that Trek 8000 and now, I've had a lot of different bikes. A full suspension Klein, another Trek 8000, not the same as the first one, a Gary Fisher, a Trek Fuel, the Surly Krampus, a Trek 1120, a Trek 920, and a Trek Checkpoint. They've all had their pluses and minuses, and after many years of taking notes about what I like and what I don't like, I called up my good friends at Priority and said, let's create the best bike ever. And they said, who is this? Stop bothering us. No, that's not what they said. They said, let's do it. There she is. So I've made a few other videos that go over every single component in depth and I will link those down below. I do wanna go over some of the main points, my favorite parts of this bike right now. And first of all, I am 5'10 and I ride a medium, but it's not really your height that matters, it's your inseam. And if you're having questions about which size to get, I would look on the Priority website. They have a great sizing chart. And if you still have questions, just email the guys or the gals at Priority and they will get you set up on the right sized 600X. Wait a second. Where's the derailleur? I don't see a derailleur. Uh-oh, this is weird. Wait, no, it's not weird. There's no derailleur because of the pinion gearbox. Yes, this is the famous pinion. And it was designed by Porsche transmission engineers who said, hey, Bikes should be like cars, where all of the delicate gearing can be enclosed inside of a protective box like this one, so that rain and snow and mud don't affect the gear, so that it just always works smoothly. And that's what they've done. I've had a pinion bike since 2018, and it just always works without fail. There's also a 600% ratio tucked in there, and a lot of people might think, I have no idea what that means. Well, what it means is that you can essentially ride this bike up a wall. There's a lot of gearing. You know, for example, the SRAM Eagle setup has a 525% gear ratio. So if you're worried about going up steep mountains, uh, you can rest easy because this is gonna get you up just about anything. You couple that with the Gates carbon belt drive right here. Yes, it is not a chain, it is a belt drive three times stronger than a chain, never needs to be lubed. And if it does get a little dirty, you just hose it off. Sometimes they can get squeaky. You just splash it with some water and you're good to go. So right here really is the beating heart of the bicycle. Up front, we have the Wren inverted fork, the type of fork you might see on a motorcycle. It has 110 millimeters of travel, which is a little over four inches so it can handle pretty much any type of terrain. It can be maintained with just household tools, which is really cool. And sometimes you might think, oh, I don't need my shock right now. I'm gonna hit this lockout button and then it is hard as a rock for riding on pavement. This bike rolls super fast with these 29 inch wheels. And when designing this bike, I made sure that we left room so you could put very wide tires on this bike. For example, these are 2.6 inch tires and you can see 
there's plenty of room for more. This can take up to three inch tires. Since this is a bike packing bike, there are tons of mounting points for water bottles or a custom frame bag like the one I have right here. You can even put water bottles on the back of the bike right here. Rear rack, pretty much anything you wanna hang on this bike, you can. Four piston hydraulic brakes, 180 millimeter rotor up front, 160 millimeter rotor in the back. We made sure that this bike was dropper post ready. It does not come with the dropper post, but it has the holes, is that what you call them? To rig up a dropper post. These are the WTB Tough Rims, and I've been beating on these for well over a year and haven't even broken a spoke. We designed these bars to be comfortable with a little bit of rise and a bit of back sweep so you can sit on your bike for hours and hours and hours and hopefully not get too sore. And this might be a funny thing to get excited about, but I love these grips. They're nice and wide right here and they create a nice pad for your hands. The frame is aluminum. Oh yeah, there's a logo right here, the Get Out There logo. It's tucked behind my frame bag, but it has the flat irons of Boulder, my hometown, my beloved hometown. And that, my friends, is the 600X. The absolute most important thing to know about this bike is that it's a bomb-proof, low-maintenance adventure machine. As a bike packer who is often in the middle of nowhere, I want a bike that's reliable. And this is that bike. It's tough, it's sexy, and it's my dream bike. I spent the last couple of years riding it thousands of miles, and I'm here today to talk about how it handles some of the roughest of the rough. I've ridden this bike a lot in the last year, but I'm gonna focus this report card on two adventures, the 700 mile portion of the Great Divide in New Mexico and the 550 mile Colorado Trail. In New Mexico, you saw me pushing through some serious snow and mud, up and down mountains, battling severe winds and riding through a bit of sand. It was definitely some of the toughest riding on the entire divide. And even though it was rough, I really enjoyed the wildness of those New Mexico roads. And that 110 millimeters of travel on the Ren Fork took the edge off the rough stuff, while having the capability to completely lock the shock out on the paved sections. You know, water is scarcer than up in the northern states, so I carried two heavy 64 ounce bottles on the rear rack and a bottle up front. And even with the extra weight, the bike handled great on the technical terrain. I also really like the upright seating position. It's really nice on my back during those eight hour days in the saddle. Now listen up. I learned a very important lesson on this ride. Remember back a couple minutes ago when I said that I dealt with crazy mud? Well, due to those insane conditions, the belt popped off a few times. And in a panic, I rolled the belt back onto the sprockets. I forced it on. And I want you to hear this from me. Don't roll the belts on. <laughs> While I didn't know it at the time, I was severely weakening the carbon tensile cords inside the belt. They are super strong, but not meant to bend side to side. So seven days after the mud apocalypse, I was riding a steep single track section and my belt broke in half. Oh, fuck. No! Now I know you're thinking to yourselves, I thought you said that belts are three times stronger than chains. They are, and breaking a belt is almost unheard of. But because I strained the belt so much earlier in the week, it broke. Now, am I worried about this happening again in the future? Not really. This was a once in a lifetime mishap. Dave at Priority said that out of the thousands of bikes he's sold, he's only had a handful of people break belts. But just in case, always bring an extra. They're super lightweight. If you wanna watch a video that has all the details about how to care for your belt, I will link that down below. This is pure magic right here. A 
few months after the Great Divide, I took the bike on the Colorado Trail, a 550 mile monster of a route with 70,000 feet of climbing over some of the most beautiful mountains in my beloved home state. Whereas the Great Divide is mostly dirt roads, this beast is almost entirely technical single track. The 600X was made for an adventure like this. The main goal with designing this bike was to create a very capable mountain bike, like the ones I grew up on, but better and much less maintenance. I spent 11 days riding up and down steep mountain passes, and although it was really hard, this bike handled everything with flying colors. Oh my God. I want to talk about a few of the components that really shined on this ride. Number one, the brakes. Those four piston brakes came in really handy because some of the descents are insanely steep and I always felt in control. You know, the wheels, the WTB tough wheels, they definitely lived up to their name. I didn't break one spoke the entire ride and I was slamming this bike from rock to rock every single day. There is a lot of climbing on the Colorado Trail and the riding position was really comfortable. And this bike climbs really well up the steep stuff. And when I finished this ride, I was completely beat up. You know, I beat the crap out of that bike and I beat the crap out of myself. And uh, we're both here standing strong. <laughs> so here's the big question. Who is this bike for? Well, it's for anyone who wants an all around low maintenance adventure bike that can get you through just about anything. And I've taken it through just about anything and I plan on riding this for many, many more years and thousands of miles, but you've had enough of hearing from me. So I called up some people who own this bike and asked them to talk about their experiences with the 600X. Hey Ryan, I think the main thing that I really, really love about this thing is that it's uh, opened up so many riding opportunities for me. I have a road bike and I have this bike and this bike serving many different uh, aspects of my riding including commuting, uh, just mountain biking, uh, you know, gravel road uh, exploration and you know, all the way to bike packing. Uh, I'm not much of a mechanic and this thing uh, allows me to go out there and not worry about fixing anything as much out in the field. Hey, Duzarians, uh, is that what this group is called? Anyway, yeah, my name's Steve. I'm coming to you to tell you about the, my experience with the 600X. It is the, uh, the low maintenance, high value adventure vehicle. I tell you, you wanna get out and see the world? What a, what's a better way to see it in 15 or seven or three or zero miles per hour on a 600X? Hi, I'm Mark here in my pain cave in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Coming to you with my Priority 600X Adventure Bike. Um, I originally bought this bike uh, about a year ago, I think I got it shipped in, for um, riding a great part of the Great Divide Trail in, in Colorado. Um, we did quite a bit of that last year. This year's plans are to uh, maybe do the Grand Loop from Grand Junction down through Montrose into Moab and back up to Grand Junction. Um, I originally bought this bike because I'm a terrible bike mechanic and I'm kind of lazy. So the simplicity of the gates and pinion drive and the low maintenance of it is what really attracted me to this bike. Um, so far, it's been great. I've put quite a few miles on it. It's held everything I need it to hold, including me. I'm not exactly a lightweight rider, so it's been super comfortable. Um, carried everything I need to carry and moved, moved me down the trail pretty well. I got one of the first uh, production units uh, in April of last year, I have a large, um, and I, I got to say, starting out, that Doozer and the folks at Priority um, just designed an amazing bike that's fantastic for bike packing. I actually use this as my hardtail mountain bike as well, but a couple, I did probably uh, six, seven trips last year, about a thousand miles. I live in New England, so it was a lot of rocky, rooty terrain. And uh, this was, is just an amazing bike for bike packing. I love it. It's the best bike I've ever owned. A couple of little hidden tidbits um, that I learned. One of the really cool things about this is you can actually shift with the bike stationary. Um, that's a, a benefit of the a pinion box. 
Um, the other thing that I love about it is the large triangle. I have um, all relevant um, design bags. So this is a Ranger, it's an XL, and I put just a ton of stuff in here. I also have uh, the, the relevant sweet roll with my um, Helinox chair on the front. Um, I have the mag tank bag here, and then on the back, the spine lock. And I'm just able to carry everything that I need on this bike. Okay, Ryan, this is for you. I really don't like being in front of a camera or video, but I think I kind of owe it to you to do a shout out for this wonderful bike that you were very instrumental in designing. Um, it is absolutely the bomb. I have been on probably at least a couple dozen bikes in my the last 20 years during my racing days and into just my general mountain biking world life. That's where I am most comfortable. And so I have a lot of bikes to compare this bike to. My husband and I did the Tour Divide last year on the 600X. Um, I was on a medium. This one is actually a small. My husband's now on the medium. It was a little big for me. But what I have it to compare to is all the different downhill mountain bikes that I have ridden over the years when I had raced on the national circuit and, and just love to do the hardcore, steep, rocky drop-off crap. And um, this fully loaded is probably about 65 pounds and it was as solid as as any of these bikes that were designed to, to take big old gaps, big old drop-offs. It really, really handled extremely well. And there were no mechanicals. My bike had zero mechanicals. We only, we divided the divide. We did half of it, uh, 1300 miles, I think it was total. I just love this bike and if you were to ask what do I love most of course one of the things that most people go immediately to is the drivetrain is the pinion um, sealed gearbox and the gates belt drive there were zero issues I did not have any derailleur issues because I don't have a derailleur I don't have any cassette issues because I don't have a cassette uh, it was it started squeaking because it was dusty I would take a water bottle and squirt it off and away would go any sounds that would be bo maybe bothersome. I absolutely love this bike and I think my favorite thing is just how solidly sound it was built. Absolutely love it. Thank you for everything you've done for this wonderful bike packing world that we have stepped into. I just turned 60. And I'm looking for, forward to many, many years on this bike, um, traveling the world. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm in uh, Bordeaux, France. Uh, here's my 600X. Uh, I got it after watching Ryan's videos on YouTube. Uh, I wanted to get into bike packing, and this seemed like a, a good choice. Uh, my favorite feature in the, the 600X is the, it's gotta be the pinion gearbox. It's super smooth. Um, I'm just getting into cycling, but I was able to climb a 15% a grade the other day and that's something I could have never done with my other gravel bike and uh, a 10 to 42 cassette. So uh, it's got a huge range of the gearbox, which is, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and it's also got, it's, it's real well thought out with uh, mounting points for, uh, for frame bags, for water bottles everywhere. Um, it just, they, they put a lot of thought into this, this bike and it seems like they worked out all the, all the kinks before releasing it. So I'm really happy with it and can't wait to explore uh, France and Spain with it this year. Someone asked me recently, what do you like about your Priority 600X, AKA the Doozer Cruiser? Let me think for a minute. I think I like the kickstand. Hi Ryan, it's Kevin Early from Collegeville, Pennsylvania. I love my Priority 600X. I've done three overnight bike packing trips this year. Put a couple hundred miles on the bike. It's been maintenance free. Some of the better features, I love having all the bolt-ons that allow me to put these bags that are all waterproof from 7R on it. And the best part of it, it's been maintenance free. And while we're at it, let's hear from Eddie my buddy at Priority, who played an integral part 
in creating this bicycle. I, I like to think of the 600X as our child. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> Uh, I love that bike. It's definitely, you know, a dream come true as a as a bike packing and off-road touring bike from my point of view. Um, after the the first production, we made some real subtle tweaks just to make it uh, just to change the geometry slightly to allow the crown of the fork to pass under the down tube in case of a crash, um, just to avoid any damage that 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 might cause additional damage from whatever damage a crash might cause. Hopefully not. But uh, but anyway, so that was one thing that we fixed pretty quickly. Um, you know, we've uh, we've been affected by the supply chain just like everybody else, and um, we've been doing whatever we can to make this bike as fast as we can. This version of the bike is shipping with Hayes brakes, um, which should be pretty cool. And uh, you know, we will have some in stock, which is something that uh, we haven't been able to say since we came out with this bike. All right, we are almost done. I promise, just a few more things. When you pull the 600X out of the box, it is adventure ready. The only parts that I've added to my bike are a dropper post and a rear rack. You can upgrade all you want with lighter components, and many of you will, but I've been really happy with the stock components. We chose them for a reason. Now, here we go. This is the exciting part. If you order it now, you will get it fairly quickly in comparison to you know, supply chain issues that we've had over the past year. There is a batch coming in April and another batch coming in May and June. That means that you're gonna get your bike for summer, summertime, baby. Okay, I'll stop singing now, but thank you for watching this video. I love this bike. We created it with a lot of love and a lot of heart and many, many years of riding mountain bikes, and it's a good one. So thank you for watching this and buying 600Xs if you own one out there. And if you're a future owner of the 600X, you're going to love it. So like and subscribe. If you like my channel, I'm going to ride this 600X all over the place and you're going to see it show up many, many more times. And we will see you down the road. And as always, I'm talking to you right there sitting on the couch. Get up off your couch and get out there.